My name's Katie and I have VEDS or vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I want you to know that something called pneumothorax or collapsed lung is something that sometimes is seen in people with vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Lois Dietz Syndrome, and Marfan syndrome. I think it's important to raise awareness of these conditions. These are rare genetic conditions. But before you leave, because you don't have anybody in your family with this that is diagnosed, just know that it's not uncommon for people not to know that they have one of these conditions. Unfortunately, medical providers are not always aware of these diagnoses. These are rare conditions or uncommon conditions. And depending on where you are and where that doctor studied and how many patients that they've seen with one of these conditions, they might not know about it at all. So before you leave this video, I want you to know that this exists. I want the world to know that these conditions exist. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a person living with vascular EDS, and I have talked to a lot of people with VEDS and also with Lowy Seats and Marfan syndrome. There's a big community out here, and we all deal with some overlapping features. If you found this video, you might have had a pneumothorax yourself, or you might have a family member who had it, or someone you love had one, and this video is for you. Pneumothorax happens in all three of these conditions, but I'm most familiar with VEDS, and I have a specific quote from the 2017 International Classification of Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes. This is part of a quote from that paper. Spontaneous pneumothorax in the presence of other features consistent with VEDS should all lead to diagnostic studies to determine if the individual has VEDS. The type of doctor that normally does these diagnostic studies is a geneticist, and I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video for the Marfan Foundation, the VEDS Movement, and the Lowy Seat Syndrome Foundation, which have a help and resource center staffed by a nurse that can help you find a doctor in your area familiar with one of these conditions if you think that you or someone you love might have it and you wanna just rule it out. There's other features of VEDS and Marfan and Lois Dietz. I'm gonna put them up on the screen right now while I'm reading. For VEDS, some of the major criteria are family history, arterial rupture or dissection at a young age, spontaneous sigmoid colon perforation and the absence of like diverticulitis or other bowel pathology, uterine rupture during the third trimester in the absence of previous C-section and or severe peripartum perineum tears and something called a carotid cavernous sinus fistula in the absence of trauma. There's also a bunch of minor criteria of VEDS like bruising, thin translucent skin with like very visible veins, characteristic facial appearance. This is like a thin nose, thin lips, almond shaped or very prominent or deep set eyes. Sometimes people have connected earlobes, spontaneous pneumothorax, acrogeria, club foot, congenital hip dislocation, hypermobility of the small joints, tendon and muscle rupture, caroticonus, gingival recession, and gingival fragility, that's like fragile gums or gum recession, and early onset varicose veins. The minimum criteria suggested for VEDS is a family history of a disorder, arterial rupture or dissection in individuals less than 40 years old, unexplained sigmoid colon rupture, or spontaneous pneumothorax in the presence of other features here. For Lowy Seat syndrome, some of the things that can come along with it are similar to VEDS, arterial dissection, and aneurysms across the body, aortic dissection, hollow organ rupture, pneumothorax, and there's also some like major features which are things like arterial tortuosity or like twisty twisty arteries that's usually seen like on an artery scan, hypertellurism which is where the eyes are widely spaced, and a bifid uvula or a broad uvula. That's the thing that hangs in the back of your throat. For Marfan, there's a lot of features as well. I am gonna put these on the screen again because I don't wanna misspeak. And this information comes from reputable sources like the Marfan Foundation and research papers. Aortic enlargement can be seen in Marfan syndrome, mitral valve prolapse, aortic regurgitation, dislocated lenses in the eyes, pneumothorax. So there's a lot of different features and I'm gonna put a link to the organizations that advocate for people with these conditions in the description of this video so that you can check it out yourself. Please help us raise awareness by sharing this video. There are a lot of people who are out there that probably don't know that they have one of these conditions. And if you know ahead of time, you can be prepared for medical emergencies, you can be monitored, you can make sure that you're doing everything you can to get the medical care that you need and participate in research and all sorts of things. So please share this video. Help us raise awareness of these conditions and help us tell the world that these conditions exist. Thank you. See you soon.